Hello guys, sorry for the bad audio quality. I didn't even have time to plug in my microphone because I am so excited and I have so little time. I woke up at like 2.40 in the morning and I am headed out to shoot an epic, I hope it's gonna be an epic shot with the noctilucent clouds. I don't know if you're aware about NLCs, but this is this absolutely amazing and gorgeous phenomenon with like high, very high clouds that can appear during summertime in mid-northern latitudes. This is just going to be insane. So hopefully I'm to going to get an awesome shot. So join me on this adventure and I will show you what you can get uh, with, with NLC. So yeah, let's get to the location really fast. See you there. Okay guys, now that I actually got the shot, I can explain in detail what is going on. So I don't know if you can see, I hope you should be able to see that these clouds right here above the bridge and also the reflection in the river right here above this beautiful bridge is what is called the noctilucent clouds. They are only visible in like uh, around the summer solstice here on the northern hemisphere and you need to be at a mid-northern latitude in order to be able to sight them. They are only present during the nautical twilight so it is really a rare opportunity for you to see them and also not only you need to be in the mid-northern latitude during the nautical twilight but also if they actually form because they form around the northern ice caps uh, around the north pole it is still a very big of a mystery. Nobody knows why they form and nobody can predict if they will form on any given night. So if you see them, you just need to head out and try to photograph them because the next night they may not be on the sky. And honestly, it's 29th of June, uh, which is like past the half of the season. And this is the very first time that I have managed to see and photograph those clouds. Look how beautiful they are. Let's take a look at the preview of my camera here because this is just sick. All right, so as you can see on the back of my camera, and this is my composition. It looks pretty cool with the bridge, the reflection and the noctilucent clouds. And let's take the shot. I am currently shooting, this is a four seconds exposure. I have a ISO, as you can see on the preview, it looks pretty awesome. I have ISO 200, aperture f2.5, I am shooting on the Sigma 24mm f1.4 and I stopped it down to f2.5 to get the maximum sharpness and it looks pretty awesome. Look how beautiful it is, I mean that's just gorgeous. Currently I have switched up the lenses, I replaced, uh, I switched up the lenses from my two cameras so I'm currently shooting this one with the Sigma 24 millimeters and I have taken the shot of the NLCs with the Laowa 15 millimeters. So as you can see it is wider here and this composition actually looks pretty epic as well. I'm not sure which one is better but both of them are just stunning to my eye. I mean look at that. Alright, so uh, I have switched up the lens again. Currently I'm shooting a vertical composition again with the same bridge. As you can see it is getting, it's getting brighter and really uh, currently I'm shooting with a 35mm vertical. And as you can see those NLCs just look so beautiful in every focal length. If you go very wide you can capture the whole range of the sky and the foreground and everything. And also you can punch it in into, into details of an image. If you have something interesting in the foreground, like luckily I have this bridge right here in the river, that I can punch it in and get different compositions. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little display of the NLCs as much as I did. When it comes to processing those files, it's rather simple. You just need to tweak around a few sliders in Lightroom basic edits like clarity, dehaze, contrast, curves or whatnot and you end up with stunning images. There is no heavy processing in Photoshop, blending images or whatnot involved. 
and you can get very very stunning results also you don't need to have a super fancy camera even a kit lens would do so if you live in a mid northern latitude and it's still summertime uh, i encourage you to just look out uh, in the direction of north and uh, during uh, either either in the evening twilight or morning twilight typically the nautical twilight is the best for these kind of shots and you can end up with stunning images like this all right that's basically it for me for this video i hope you've enjoyed this if you did please make sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos if you if you don't want to miss out on those and also check out the collection of videos i have already on my channel because i have a ton of videos already hopefully see you in the next one and bye bye